There's too many grown people out here who don't know how to be tolerant. And I think that's incredibly childish. You're telling me that you can't sit in a room with another adult human being because they have an idea that you don't like when there are literally so many other things that you can connect over just as human beings. That's insane. That's incredible. And it's something that has to really stop. We have to get out of that closed mindedness. It shouldn't matter what sort of political, religious, economic ideas people have. That doesn't mean anything. You have to learn how to respect people as people, as humans, just as like another living thing here on this planet, living life. They don't have to be just like you. Everybody loves, everybody laughs, everybody enjoys. You know, find, find what's common and come together over that. But people will act like, well, you're a Democrat and I'm a Republican, so as a human being, you suck. Like, what? I think it's just completely illogical and unreasonable, irrational to decide something about someone based off of the fact that they think something different than you. You're like, it's like liking cilantro, man. Some people like it, some people don't. Who's wrong? Who's right? Nobody. It's just a personal preference and people are free to have their own personal preferences about life because everybody has their own experiences that, you know, get them to a place to think those things and everybody has their own reasoning for those things. So if it really interests you as to how they can have an idea that's so different from yours, why don't you ask them? Well, why is it that you think that? But don't do it in terms of like trying to change them, just do it in terms of trying to understand. And when we can get to a point where we can talk about our differences so that we can understand the other person better instead of trying to change them or try to prove that what they feel is wrong, then that's when we can really start growing. But when we don't allow ourselves to grow, when we think that we can only surround ourselves with people who are just like us, then we just become these incredibly rigid people who fall apart at the first sign of variety. <laughs> and I think that, you know, it's really selling yourself short when you don't have the ability to be open to um, the exposure of other things. And I think a lot of times people are like afraid it's gonna change their mind. No, you're not gonna change my mind. Okay, well like, it doesn't mean somebody is trying to do that, you know? And the other thing about that is like, you shouldn't be afraid someone's gonna change your mind. If someone has information or perspective that really makes you consider and like rethink the reason behind what you're doing, then it's only mature and wise to consider those things and ask yourself, well, am I looking at this from an open place? You know, you have to be open and you can't be afraid of other people who have different beliefs. If you truly stand firm in the things that you feel like you know and that resonate deeply within you, there should be no fear of what anybody else is gonna bring to the table. What, what, what is the reasoning behind fear? You see what I mean? Like, if you feel like you have to fight and protect what you believe so deeply, then it doesn't feel like you believe in it deep enough. So instead of trying to hang on to what you think you know, just know it, just, just be it and just believe it. And nothing anyone says to you or information that people present to you are going to be able to shake that if, if it's truly what you know to be true for yourself in your heart. People thinking differently than you doesn't make them bad. And I think we immediately jump to like demonizing other people for thinking something different, you know, like, vegans and hunters like dude if you want to be a vegan be a vegan and if you want to hunt hunt and when you guys come together in the same room don't talk about it if you guys can't handle it talk about something else talk about movies that you like talk about music talk about you know whatever but it's important to know that there's so many other things about life that we can come together and appreciate don't look at tolerance as like putting up with suffering through you know, 
it's not that. Tolerance is just like, hey, that's cool. Oh, you think something different? Cool. Like, I see, I, I accept you and your differences with love. And it's cool. It's all good. You have to just like look at everybody with eyes of love. No matter how different they are from you, find what connects you. Find what brings you together. And if the only thing is just like, hey, they're just another person here on earth living life, like, let that be it. But, but find love in that and be able to appreciate the fact that they are the same thing as you and they're out here just doing their best and they think what they're doing is right, just like the way you think you're doing is right, you know? Everybody has their reasons for everything. You know, you have to ask yourself and sit with yourself and figure out what angers you about someone being different than you. What angers you about that so much? You can't control other people and you can't dictate how they feel. You can't dictate the experiences that they have. You can't force them to come to the same conclusions as you. That is an incredibly selfish mentality, incredibly controlling. It's not a healthy mentality to see someone who's different than you and automatically become defensive and um, to, to want to fight them and to want to challenge them. It's not your job, it's not your place. The only thing you're here to do is to live your life. If you honestly can't be around people who have different opinions than you, then there's, that's an indicator that you need to heal something, that you need to figure out what it is about yourself that is so resistant to alternative thinking. You know, think about what it is. Do you, is it that you feel like you're morally superior, that your beliefs are better because um, you think you're, you're smarter in your conclusions? That's not up to you. That's not fair for you to say. So pay attention to yourself and pay attention to those types of triggers because it's a huge red light, red flag indicator that you are harboring fear somewhere and you have to understand why. You have to understand where that's coming from. And if you can heal that, you are doing a huge, huge service to the rest of the world because every time that you choose to do something positive like that, every time you choose to heal yourself, you are becoming part of something more positive. You are becoming part of something better and you are uplifting humanity instead of keeping stuck in old ideas. And it, it literally is like changing the composition of the ideas and the energy of the planet. You know, every, every time you choose to do something positive, it is changing the composition of the energies on the planet. So, you know, do that internal work. Be the change that you want to see. If you don't like seeing hate and injustice and, you know, all the negative stuff going on, make sure that you don't have it in yourself, that you're not harboring it inside of yourself, that you are not contributing to it by being someone too closed off to be a loving and accepting person on this planet. We need more of those. We, we, need, we need more people who are able to be flexible and to be open-minded and to be loving. Those differences fall away so fast when we have to come together, when something big happens and we have to come together and overcome something. If an alien invasion happened right now, would those differences really matter? Would you really be trying to like separate yourselves with those petty, petty differences? Or would you come together as human beings? We gotta stop being so simple in our thinking. Kindness goes beyond all boundaries. Love goes beyond all ideas. We are all the same thing and we are all allowed to be unique expressions of that thing. And that thing is love. So everybody is love. And let people do whatever they feel like brings them joy, brings them satisfaction here you know everyone has the right to do that and by you telling someone that they're wrong because of the way they think then you are actively trying to oppress their individual self-expression that's not okay it's not okay be more mindful in how you treat people and how you love others don't just choose to love other people who are like you that's not truly love because love is unconditional Love doesn't see all that dumb, petty stuff, what you're wearing, how you talk, where you're from, 
who cares? If you let those types of things bother you, then I guarantee you, you are a less happy person than someone who doesn't care about that stuff. Miserable people pick at little things like that, but happy people, man, they just let things be. They're accepting of life. Find what keeps you hesitant about like interacting with people who are different. Find what scares you about people who are different and you know, fill that, fill that space with love. Get rid of the fear and replace it with love and see what kind of magic that it brings to your life and how, and how much more happy you can be and how, how much more beautiful your experience will become.